I do a Toriando pass. My hands will go on his knees. I'm going to jump back and slam his legs down. Right? And then we're going to zigzag around and go to knee on belly. Right now, though, there's a lot of different Toriando drills. For example, I can, uh, as I throw his leg back, some guys might do a cross step over that one. No, I don't know how supposed to go back and it's hard to get into some uh, I've seen guys do this and then throw it and then just really just throw the guy and almost get his side control. But with kids, that one actually works pretty well because your opponent's kind of light, so you can kind of twirl this sometimes. Yeah. On this one, though, we're going to use footwork because especially for my kickboxers, this ties together a movement pattern that you're going to do. Okay? So from here, if I go here, and then I, I'm going to keep this hand, I'm going to zigzag around. Okay? It's like a bullfighter. It's like a cake going over here. Okay? That's a Toriando. It's a bullfighter. And so from here, as I pass, I step, my leg's going to zigzag around, and then I readjust and grab the shoulder or the back. Okay? Now from here, my knee and my foot are roughly on the same line as his shoulder. My foot across his belt, and try to have this foot off the ground. My eyes are here. Off the ground, not on the ground. On knee on belly, you want your weight across your opponent. Don't sit butt to your foot. It's hard uh, to keep your balance and keep lots of bridges. You end up falling over. And keep up tall, so you have like a shock and door. Okay. So you're going to go one side, then the other side. Okay, so it's a little tricky at first one or the other side. I choose the other side. You guys are going to just stay right here. You're going to go one side. Oh, grab and readjust. And then you're going to go the other side. So I step. Now this hand has to get out of my leg. So I can zigzag, grab the shoulder. Okay. And to the other side. Up, zigzag around, grab the look at the shoulder. Those are how I readjust it. Don't be too close because now I can grab it super easy. Okay? You want to be out a little bit so it's harder to get a hold. That's okay? pretty good there. Now the reason I'm saying, the reason I said it's kind of like some of your, your footwork for our kickboxing is some uh, one of the movement patterns we do moves us across and back in again, changing angles. But there's almost that same little step there that we just did. Okay? So it ties together some of your footwork for your strike. Uh, uh, questions on that one? On three. One, two, three. Then you're going to go one side, then the other. I'm going to help you through two. We're going to go that side, that side, that side, that side, and then you'll do it on your own. Okay? Be in position for me. Knees are flat. Feet are flat, knees up. One guy standing, one guy, their knees up, feet flat. Sam, you're making me call your name. Gideon, you're making me call your name. How do you do? Josh, you're making me call your name. Feet flat, knees up. That's it. Top person, grab more to the inside of the knees. Yeah. You're going to end up throwing their, their legs this way as you step to the left. Let go of the left hand, zigzag around, put your knee on their belly, grab their shoulder, readjust your foot so it's in line with their shoulder. Good. Then back up. Grab their knees. Now you're going to go the other side. So we're going to throw the cake to that side as we step. Bring your knee around. Other knee should be coming around, Thomas. Knee on belly. Wrong knee. And then readjust, grab the shoulder and your foot. You see? Good, back to start. Okay, you step with one leg, you move the other knee. Now we're going back to the water fountain side. Pull one way and step. Zigzag your knee around, so you gotta move your arm so it can get through it. Can't freeze through it. Is your knee on her belly? Then grab the shoulder and adjust the foot. 
Don't set on your butt to your foot. Keep postured up tall. You're not up tall. Your butt is touching your foot. Now listen to my words. Your butt needs to get off of your foot. Taller. Push down lower on that part. Yes. There has to be this distance between your butt and your foot. You can separate. Good. Uh, watch really quick, everybody. Really quick, half circle around. You guys are wasting mat time by not listening. I've been busy for you, so I don't want to see it every time, okay? You're slow in my class. So if his butt is touching his foot, and now I barely move or bump him, it's almost impossible to keep your balance because there's no shock before. If he goes up high, now there's distance, now when I bump or move or whatever, now he's able to stabilize. If he's down flat again, now it's super easy to move him around because he's tied to right? So don't have your butt to your foot on this one. This one can be a shock before. Right? Back to your spot, really big. Now we're going to the parking lot side. So you're gonna throw it toward the water fountain, step toward the parking lot. Remember, you can't go through your arms. You have to move one arm, zigzag your knee around, all the way across the belly. Readjust the arm and leg. Good. And back to start. Now you're gonna give me one minute on your own. Ready, begin. Remember, one side, then the other. 